Known for having one of the most successful programs in all of the NCAA, the Florida State women's soccer team knows the secret is in the diversity among their team. For some, it can be a challenge, but senior midfielder Megan Connolly from Cork, Ireland has found many bright spots in the constant trials of being an international student athlete. Uh, probably just the people that I've met here. Um, definitely made uh, friends for life here. Um, and I think, especially this year, it's been a very close team. Um, and I think that's kind of helped us on the field as well. Um, and that's just like one of my favorite parts is just like the people you meet. Even though she never actually visited the school before starting here, she learned from many former international FSU players just how special it is to play for a team that is so successful. FSU has kind of built the foundation for me to be able to do that. Um, back in 2015, I got my first cap against the USA here after playing my first season here. So I think definitely they kind of bow in a mix being here has developed me as a player to allow me to kind of progress at the international level. Fans come from all over the world, just like the FSU soccer players, to enter these gates to watch what a successful program FSU soccer has become. One of the other seven international players is sophomore Anna Patton. Anna is from England and has quickly claimed FSU as her new home far away from home. Sometimes like you do miss home and there's the stresses of being a student athlete and missing home, but like having the team to support me has been really helpful. While being on the team means a lot to Anna, the bond these Knowles have formed has turned them into a family and is transparent on the field come game time. Yeah, we do team bonding and we try to get together and have team meals and everything and uh, we do a lot of fun things together and the team is just so close and together. I love it. Passing this one to you all the way in the back of the net, the Seminole Showcase reporter, Haley Blitch.